Welcome to Marketplace with Charles, where dreams are turned into reality. I am so delighted to have you today, and I'm excited that you have tuned in to this inspiring show. I guarantee you, your life will never be the same again. On Marketplace, we aim to empower and equip you with the right tools that you need to achieve your entrepreneurial dreams. Marketplace is brought to you by Art of Skin Care, the company that brings out the beauty in you as well as Kuwisa Lodge, situated in the heart of Mabalingwe Nature Reserve. I am Charles Ngobeni. Each week we bring you insight from experts in different fields of business, from men and women full of faith. We meet a vibrant, inspirational speaker and an entrepreneur. She is living proof that life is what you make to be and that you are the creator of your own destiny. She is the sole owner of her own company, shedding light which she birthed after many years of experience working in the corporate environment. She holds a BSc degree in informational technology from the University of Johannesburg, which some people call UJ. She was awarded the Best Woman of the Year in 2016 in the category of Youth Development by the Tabano Community Forum and was in the top three finalists in the Business Women's Association of South Africa Awards in 2017. By this, you can tell she is not ordinary. She's an awesome and great woman. My guest and I today will examine the subject of purposeful living, which I believe to be one of the pillars of living a successful life. It is one of the reasons that this program exists and is on air today, to invite ordinary men and women, boys and girls, to look at their lives beyond what the society has trained them into. One of the most painful episodes in our existence is watching the many young matriculants and graduates loitering in the neighborhoods because we are waiting for someone or the government to come and drop us a job on our lap. Let me say this to you. That may never happen. You may wait until you die. Why sit we here until we die? Then, when nothing happens, we grow bitter at foreigners who just arrived yesterday and seem to be making it in our own terrain. It is obvious that the real problem is that there are no jobs, but there is a missing link somewhere, and we need to sort that one out today in this episode. Dinawa, welcome to Marketplace with Charles. Thank you so much for having me and good day to the viewers. I am delighted to have you on this show. I'm happy to be here. You know, I looked at your profile. You are a dynamite yourself. Mm. Well, <laughs> I have to give credit to my parents, my teachers, and the people who actually brought me up to be the woman I am today. And people like you too, who are mentors on the journey of entrepreneurship. <laughs> okay, can we unpack this dynamite called Dinewo? Well, I think the name says it all, right? <laughs> so Dineo yeah. is a young, vibrant woman. Mm -hmm. I'm very much passionate about uh, people development, skills development. And that is the reason why I actually embarked on this journey of entrepreneurship, uh, because I felt there is indeed a missing link in terms of issues such as employment, unemployment, and how we can actually better our people. Is that what you do in your business? Absolutely. So Shedding Light is basically a skills development company and we focus fundamentally on personal transformation. And what we basically unpack there mm -hmm. is three fundamental issues. That is identity, purpose, as well as vision. Identity, purpose and, and vision. vision. Yes. Most people don't necessarily know who they are authentically, mm -hmm. and that has got an impact in the quality of life that they live and their joy. You know, life is about enjoying the ride. So most people actually need to discover these three and answer these three fundamental questions. Who am I? Why am I here? 
And where am I going? And your smile says, it all. you are enjoying life. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> How can I not if I know myself and if I know where I'm going and why I am here? Anyway, you have to give what is within you. Mm. You can't give what you don't have. Mm. That is very fundamental. Most of the people, they actually live from the external. So mm. they've got an external locus of control. And fundamentally, people have to live from within, right? Mm -hmm. So they need to draw from within and and define the journey and the life that they want to live. But unfortunately, people live so much from the mind. And that is the fundamental issue. You know, your smile says to me, you are giving from the overflow. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You're living this thing within you and it's full within you. And you feel like you want to dish it out because mm. you have got an overflow of it. Mm. You know, in my introduction, you know, we, we said, they say it looks like there's a lack of job opportunity within our country. Mm. But strange enough, we complain about the foreigners who come in here and immediately and quickly get the job. Mm. That tells me that we don't have a lack of jobs. Something must be wrong somewhere. Mm. I remember the words of Miles Monroe. Yes. Who said, the role of the government is not to provide job, mm. but to provide an environment conducive enough for one to create his own job mm. or to create his own business. Mm. What's your take on that? Yes, I agree so much with that quotation. Um, so one of the things that I believe is that human beings are like seeds. Mm -hmm. Hence, a conducive environment would be the best approach to go about dealing with issues such as unemployment. Yes. So most of the times people because they do not know why they are here on earth, they always want to hop from one job to another, looking for the fulfillment which they can only find within. So having an environment which the government can, can create and also having a sense of deep identity, self-awareness, knowing why you are here is actually the foundation of how you can create your own job. Because truth be told, nothing is created without a purpose in life. And that purpose is actually what creates the work that we are supposed to do on earth. So you are created for a purpose too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, before you stepped out to work on your own, mm. you were working for this big corporate company. Mm. For how long have you worked and what made you to step out mm. from this, what I call the secure space, yes. where your paycheck was guaranteed? Oh, talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> so I worked for that corporation mm -hmm. for seven and seven months, seven years, seven months to be specific. Yeah. And uh, my background is fundamentally IT. And so it's so interesting that I made a switch from IT to personal transformation and dealing with people. But mm -hmm. it was during those years that I actually observed a certain pattern which was happening in the organization. Mm -hmm. And not necessarily in my organization, but in the industry at large. So what used to happen is there were graduates that were coming in from various institutions. And when they got to that environment, they had the technical skills to do the job, mm -hmm. but they did not have the attitude and the bone and the character to carry them through and make the job or the work that they were doing a success. Mm -hmm. So the passion grew from there. I started developing those graduates and thought maybe this environment has got so many boundaries because you know how the corporate industry is. Mm -hmm. So I felt like venturing out and then go and actually focus and dedicate more time in developing these young people so that they can actually live the dream life that they wanted to, to live. <laughs> you, you know, you said um, upon your exit on the corporate environment, I guess you were fortunate because mm -hmm. one of, was it your friend who came to you and said to you that a bird sitting on a tree is never afraid of a branch breaking mm. because it does not trust, it does not have faith on the branch, mm. but it trusts and have faith on its wings. Mm. That is my favorite code. <laughs> so what happened yeah. is um, I had a very good relationship with one of the sector CIOs, actually. Um, from the time I actually joined the, that particular company, mm -hmm. she took me in and just groomed me. So the time I was about to live, 
to leave the company, I actually had a chat with her and these are the words that she left me with, this particular quotation. Powerful words. Very powerful. And that actually, because entrepreneurship was going to be a new journey for mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. many people fail in entrepreneurship, which is actually the journey and part of success, right? I mm -hmm. come to understand now. Uh, but because of that particular nature of entrepreneurship she actually left me with this word to say you have to believe in yourself just like a bird it believes in its wings as much as a branch can break believe in yourself and that is the message I actually pass on to those I teach mentor and also motivate you know I was also afraid to go on a break mm. but you have inspired me <laughs> well viewers out there on that note let's trust on our wings and take a break. Welcome back to Marketplace with Charles. I am still sitting here with this dynamite woman. You know, she's awesome. You don't want to miss the rest of the episode. Do you know? Yes. You interpret the lack of purpose mm. as a missing link mm. to our society today. Mm. What do you mean by that? Purpose is a missing link because, as I mentioned before, mm -hmm. most of the people live in the head space, right? Yes. And because of that, it is very difficult for them to tap into what we call purpose because purpose is more spiritual. It comes through the spirit, your spirit and then it gets revealed mm -hmm. in your mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So because of that, people are, have got minds are cluttered with so much noise that they don't get to actually listen to the voice within, yeah. which is actually telling them and guiding them in terms mm -hmm. of what they need the to do. The voice within. The voice within. Mm -hmm. It's always speaking to us, and that is the GPS of our lives. <laughs> You're saying the voice within, which means all this are inside mm. the individual. Mm. You know, the other time when I was seated at my home, you know, I love clean stuff. Mm. I looked at one corner. I saw a spider sitting in a beautiful in a spider web <laughs> waiting for a catch. Okay. And I decided to kill it mm. because it came into my house. Mm. Trespassing, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And something said to me, don't kill it. Maybe I should just clean it, you know, because I remember when we grew up, you know, those days, um, all things bright and beautiful, mm. all creatures great mm. and small, the Lord God created them all. Then I said to me, I'm not going to kill it. Then I cleaned it. Mm. Guess what? Five minutes later, I looked at a different corner of the house. I saw the very same spider yes. in a new spider web. And the spider did not go out of my house, mm. but it managed to rebuild its own life. So all the material that the mm. spider needed to rebuild its own life was within mm. itself. Mm. You know, that's why I would like to agree with you very much so when you said everything is within us. 
we have got all the building blocks, we have yes. got all the materials yes. that we need. Mm. But tell me, why then does it seem like finding purpose is like trying to squeeze water mm. out of a rock mm. Mm. when everything is within us? Mm. Yes. It goes back to one of the points that, that I mentioned earlier to say most of the people have not trained themselves enough to step out of the mind zone and mm -hmm. to actually reach within. So one of the most effective ways that I practice myself yeah. is through sitting quiet, stillness or being present and okay. also meditation. Meditation is not what people sometimes paint it to be. It's just allowing your mind to be cleansed so that you can listen to the deeper voice within you. So because most people don't actually do that, they struggle because the system of the world has actually taught us to live from the outside world. It becomes very hard to go internally. So some of the work that I do is actually to help people know how they can go within and search for truth, the fundamental mm. truth that can enable them to be who they want to be in life. You know, I love the me time. Mm. But the challenge that I have, when I'm quiet, I'm by myself. I know I'm receiving a lot even from God. Mm. There's a time when I silently speak to God and God speaks back to me. Because in most cases, as Christians, mm. we make a lot of noise to God, and we do not allow God to make a lot of noise <laughs> back to us. Very true. Because prayer, it has to be a communication with God. Mm. And communication is a two-way process. Mm. I can't tell God of all my issues and do not sit down and listen to God speaking back to me. Mm. And sometimes in a small, still voice. Absolutely. Now tell me, what do you do? when you want your mere time, and somebody comes and disturbs you, especially mm. your partners, mm. especially the people that you are used to it. Mm. Because they say, you don't want to talk to me today. <laughs> Why are you so angry? Mm. And you need the mere time. Yes. And to them, they just want to talk and talk and talk and talk. And that time, you want the me time. Mm. You want to be by yourself. You want to be mm. alone with God. Mm. Mm. How would you address such issues? So one of the things that I do personally, mm -hmm. uh, because we stay with people in our homes, yeah. right? Yes. It's very important to actually set a certain time of your day apart. Mm -hmm. So for instance, I'm a morning person. So waking up at 3 a.m. is not a problem for me. So that is when I allocate my me time because that is when most of the people are actually sleeping. Okay. But in other instances, for mm -hmm. instance, if you are married, it is also advisable to say, if you really want your me time, to set aside probably a weekend and you just go away, book yourself somewhere, go and have your time with God without anybody disturbing you. But obviously you have to consult and get permission if you're married. <laughs> <laughs> So those are some of the things that mm -hmm. people can actually apply or try to practice as well. Because you don't want to do your me time when there is a lot of noise uh, from the surrounding place. But even if you look at Jesus himself, mm. you know, sometimes he'll separate himself exactly. from the 12 mm. and be with the three. Mm. Sometimes he'll be by himself alone. And the Bible will say he'll go up the mountain. Yes. You know, and uh, just be alone with God, mm. you know, mm. me time. Very important. Very important. Mm. Okay. But then you find people that have got jobs. Yes. Seated in their jobs. You give them a job. But now when you go and check on their system, mm. on their computers, or let me say on your computer that you gave it to them to work on, mm. the only thing you find is a job mail and the CVs <laughs> that they're sending out every day. What causes that and what would you say to them? Oh, my goodness. It reminds <laughs> me of me. I used to be there myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um, in the pursuit of happiness, mm -hmm. people are always searching for something external. 
Mm -hmm. whereas they have to once again search for something that is internal. So most of the times we find that people who are in jobs are not happy and okay. they, they look, they, they try to seek happiness in other jobs, a bigger salary, so that they can fulfill this void that mm -hmm. is within. Mm -hmm. But the void is not fulfilled in that manner. That's not the most effective way. The void is fulfilled by finding who you truly are, why you are here, and that should define the type of work that you're actually supposed to do on earth. That is where people are missing it. And they're looking for more money? See, that's another <laughs> issue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because <clears throat> over time, I've actually learned that there's a very huge, uh, there's a huge difference between a job and work, all right? So a job is something you do for a paid salary. Yeah. A yeah. work is something that you do to serve. So once the goal becomes the money, then that is a problem because a money is a byproduct or a means to actually do what we are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. most of the time people are chasing the money, whereas they are limiting their source once again, their source, because if you're chasing the money, you're saying this corporation is what is is my only source. Mm -hmm. But when you open up and say, let God be my boss. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> then yeah, yeah. you're actually opening up a pool of other sources of, of income stream while actually doing something that you love and are passionate about. Mm. Well, viewers out there, we are created for work mm. and not for a job. Absolutely. After the break, we'll have some more. Greetings, this is Dr. Abraham S. Roger extending an invitation to come join our Bible school. We want to train, equip, activate, and release you into your ministry. We offer a program from first year all the way to PhD level. We are fully correspondent, and our material and our broadcasts are available all over the world. So why waste any further time? Contact us today. And just remember, we are free and waiting to train you, equip, and activate you into the ministry God has in store for you. See you soon at one of our campuses. Welcome back to Marketplace with Charles. I am still sitting here with this dynamite. I'm falling in love with you. <laughs> I'm falling in love with you myself. <laughs> well, you know, you're so awesome. Mm. You speak so eloquently. Thank you. You, you know what you are saying. Mm. This thing is in, within you. As we're about to wrap this episode, mm. going for the last saddle, what then is your understanding? You know, when we talk about, uh, let me say, the characteristics of purposeful living. Mm. One key, I'm just going to talk about one key. One key yeah. to living purpose. In fact, we don't need a lot of keys. <laughs> you need one key to un open up the door massive doors of your life. Yes. We can't be everything to all the people. Uh, yes, yes. You know, otherwise you burn out. Yes, that's very true. So one key that I want to touch on yeah. today is living in the present moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. That is how simple purpose is. So we've got two types of purpose, the outer yeah. purpose, and then we also have the inner purpose. So the inner purpose is that aspect of you knowing who you are and living in the present moment mm -hmm. because that becomes a doorway to allow God to actually speak into your life. Mm -hmm. So the outer purpose becomes the result of actually who you are. The establishment, the corporations that you guys open, uh, the foundations that people, that is more of the outer purpose. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the key really is living in the present moment, being here, listening to you, allowing myself to be here right now. Mm -hmm. That is all that matters, that is purpose. Because once a person is present now, I'm actually creating the next moment. How powerful is that? Living in the present Living in the present moment. moment. <laughs> but what would you say to anyone wanting to make a pursuit of purpose they are going for this year? Mm. So one thing I love about mm. life is the fact that it will always push you in a corner yeah. where it forces you to actually know that. Mm -hmm. And one of the ways it does that is through pain and suffering. So most of the people don't know why they experience pain and suffering. Basically, God is saying, I'm trying to introduce you to your true self, to your authentic self, because your authentic self is tightly tied to your 
purpose. Yes, yes. So that is the key. So those who actually want and aspire to know their purpose, life has actually been doing that to you already. Mm -hmm. Pay mm -hmm. attention, look for programs that are available, like the one that we offer at Shedding Light, and come and be a part of it. Let us walk with you in this journey to help you discover who you authentically are and why you're here. You know, what you said today is a mouthful. I'm not too sure if there's a book on the pipeline. <laughs> no, this should, on a serious note, yes. this has to be documented into a book mm. so that those who are coming behind us mm. should read. Mm. Because I want to believe you have paid heavy school fees for people like myself. <laughs> I don't have to suffer mm. and go through what you have gone through if I can read your book. Absolutely. Do you have a book on the pipeline? Fortunately, yes, I am working on something and it's going to be more around the power to create and also touching on the power of belief. I'm looking forward to, uh, to that book and I hope a lot of people are actually going to benefit from that, discover their purpose and why they are alive. I, I'm not going to let you go until I put you on the spot. Yes. When can we expect it? <laughs> because we want to create. Yes. So around... And the power to create is within us. Yes. But I want to believe that book will help unearth mm. what is already within us mm. and take it out and make us a better person. Yes. So I'm looking for towards the end of this year, actually, end of this particular year. So... Um, no specific date yet, but I promise you before 2019 ends, the book will be available. And I want to read that book first. <laughs> you certainly <laughs> will. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, viewers of the home, that's all the time that we had today. And unfortunately, mm. everything has to come to an end. Yes. Even when you live a purposeful life, the most purposeful life, you must know that one day mm. your life will come to an end. And that is the reason why you need to prepare for it and make heaven your eternal home. Mm. You know, what can you say to the viewers out there? Your mm. final word. Mm. If they want to get hold of you, how do they get hold of you? Mm. I know you speak a lot. If they want you to come and address them, where do they get all of you? I know you do some trainings online yes. as well. Mm. Talk about that. Okay. So my final words basically are you are the creator of your own universe. You are the one who's capable of creating any type of life that you dream of. Mm -hmm. For people to be in touch with me, I am on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram as well as Twitter, Dineo Molokwane with KOA, very important. So people can actually uh, contact me there. Also, my email is dineo at sheddinglight.co.za. Their website, www.sheddinglight.co.za. Okay. And I am Charles Ngobeni signing off on Marketplace. You can get hold of me on charlesngobeni.com, on Instagram, charles underscore Ngobeni, or you can go on Facebook and like me, Charles Ngobeni. God bless you. See you next time. Same channel.